Go ahead. She got... Hey. Okay, that's the moment that I want you to speed up. You knew... There you go. Okay. You knew that jump was coming. I knew that jump was coming. Teenage dogs, which is from one to two years old, need two main things. Here's what they do not need. They do not need more love from their mom and dad. They do not need more treats. They do not need more basic obedience. They don't need more e-collar light-ups. Here's what they need. They need mental and physical exercise from playing with dogs, and they need discipline from mom. That's what this dog needs. That's what a lot of dogs need. I'm watching this going, okay, what is going to help this lady and this dog the most in this one hour session? Is sit going to help this dog? Is, is lighting the dog up? Is a prong collar going to help this dog the most? No, this dog has tons of, you're going to see this dog jump on this lady 20 times. Okay, she's obsessed with mom. Mom's a play toy, or he is. He's obsessed with mom. Mom's a play toy to him. Plus, he has all this pent up energy. Is pent up? How about a, how about more walks? Oh, lady, just walk your dog five miles twice a day. That's that's what she's gonna have to do to get this energy out. This is fast twitch energy. This is roughhousing with dogs to get it out of the muscles, not walks. Would running with this dog work? Yeah, I don't know if this lady's going to run far enough. Okay, she's not a big lady, but that she still needs what many people need with their one to two-year-old dog. Discipline and roughhousing with other dogs. Okay, you're going to see Prince do a move in this video that is a very bold move. And then I'm going to do the same move later and show her how to do it. This dog needs to know that mom is strong. That's the discipline part. But the main thing for this dog and your dog if it's a teenager, one to two years old, they're going through a different stage, right? I've always said the hardest time to own a dog is nine months to a year. But then you hit the teenage years and the teenage years are the discipline years, okay? Uh, they, they, they need mom to know, this is, it's just mom in this house, okay? Her husband died, she got the dog, she loves the dog. That's why I said more love from mom is not the answer. It's rarely, everyone loves their dog, everyone. And the dog knows it. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to see me talk about discipline. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just letting the dog. I want to see how far this dog will go. I want to see what this lady does. So you're going to hear me start to get up the discipline. Then you're going to see this dog play with other dogs right now. Go ahead. She got... Hey. Okay, that's the moment that I want you to speed up. You knew... There you go. Okay. You knew that jump was coming. I knew that jump was coming. He, he, it was straight yeah. at you. There was nowhere to go. He can't go this way to avoid you. He can barely go this way. You, you need to start that one. The ones down there are tough. Like he's doing these side jumps and you're like, mm -hmm. uh, and you don't, I can see you push okay. your hand down. I can see you push your hand down, but your hand, he'll often put his mouth over your hand. So you kind of are hesitant with that. Cause I can see not, not in a bad way, but you don't yeah. want to hit the teeth with your yeah. hand. I can see it all. But right there was pretty obvious. Okay. You need to speed up and he needs, we're not hurting him. You, <laughs> no, you just I know. don't launch yourself into the lady and the lady won't. No, won't, won't I'm it. an older person yeah. and I realize that's where I want to get him to a point where it, okay. because. We, need, we have a lot to do. Okay. Part of which is the nuttiness that was down there. And that was the first time I could really tell you to mm -hmm. do something very clearly. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now. We're going to get into all this, but I want to get into happiness for him. Mm -hmm. So I watched all the crazy jumping. I didn't say anything. And then the dog jumped, jumped on her. And it was the time for me to tell her what to do. Now the dog's meeting Prince. And this is the bulk of the fixes for this dog. Now I want you to watch Prince do a move here. This move is a move you probably haven't seen Prince do. Prince felt like he needs to do it. And then I'm going to do the same move later on. This is not, he is not neutered, this dog. Prince is going to do, watch this, and then I'm going to slow it down for you. This is basically a power move because he knows the dog needs it. Right there. What did Prince just do right there? He basically said, I'm stronger than you. Here it is again. It's just a bull rush. And then I'm going to jump right into me doing the, talking to her about the same thing, the same move I do. Look at this. All he is doing is saying, I'm stronger than you. I can move you. When, when you hear my audio, it's about 30 minutes into this session, but I'm going to play it for you right now because it's the same thing. You've heard me say, grab a dog and move into them. Take three steps into them. It's important for dogs to learn that they, that you are stronger than them. 
And that's exactly what I'm gonna tell this lady about the nipping and the jumping. There's gonna be a jump, and then you are gonna grab with two hands on the collar. Does he usually wear a collar? Yeah. Okay, and then I would say you walk into him, and he feels the strength in your arm, and you walk him backwards. I don't care if he sits, and he looks at you. What you were doing here was fine, and I get it, it's hard. He's jumping and then sometimes hitting and you're trying to do this and then he, then he sometimes pet him. I get it, it's, it's, it's fine. We need to go a little harder okay. at those moments. It's important for a teenage dog from one to two years old to know that you are stronger than them. It's important, Prince knows it. He knows that he has to do that. We showed you that. It's important for this dog to know mom is stronger than him. I'm gonna let Prince get really rough with this dog. Prince thinks he needs to get rough with the dog because the dog is to some degree dominant. And he is, he tries to hunt multiple dogs during the session. A lot of dogs come out, he tries to hunt Prince. He th that's why Prince is doing it. But I'm not letting Prince be rough with this dog, which you're gonna see, because uh, I think Prince needs to assert his dominance. Mainly I'm letting Prince get rough with this dog because this dog has enough energy to jump on mom 20 times and mouth mom all the time. He's got all this energy. So we're gonna go nuts with dogs today. And look at this fast twitch muscle. That's the same energy he has when he's jumping on mom is the same energy you're seeing being gotten out of him right now. Here's what you should be doing, okay? If you have a dog like this, three times a week, this dog needs to be wrestling hardcore with other dogs, okay? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna take him on Monday, wrestle hardcore. Dog's gonna be pretty chill the rest of the day, not do his crazy jumping, not do the crazy nipping. Then it's gonna bleed into the next day. So Tuesday, dog's gonna be 50% better. 50% better the next day because you did an hour of work? That's the most bang for your buck. Maybe 80% better the next day? That's the most bang for your buck. Then comes Wednesday and you're back playing with your neighbor's dog or two dogs. Maybe you're at a uh, baseball field where there's other dogs running around. I'm not saying you go to a dog park and I'm definitely not saying you go to a dog to, doggy daycare. Never, there's a hump right there and we're gonna get him off. Never push him off by the neck area. Doggy daycares, you should never go to them for over four hours. I was a corporate trainer for a large doggy daycare. A lot of problems can happen, never over four hours. It's not that hard what you have to do. Okay. You saw three minutes of playing. I saw your car shaking when you were in there wrestling with this dog because it has this pent up energy, this pent up mouth energy. There's this constant mouthing. There's mm -hmm. this constant jumping. There's anxiety. There's all these things that really got out. Why did I let Prince get so rough with him? Because he needs roughness because he likes roughness mm -hmm. because it was probably good for him to know he's not as tough as another dog. Not to say he really thinks he is. I just liked the energy that got out in those two minutes. Yeah. Once a week is what you're doing mm -hmm. with this dog. The most bang for your buck, 80% reduction in all bad behaviors, 70, 60, is going to be that play with other dogs. And if you, and it's, the e it's not just the thing that's the best to do for him, it's the easiest thing to do for him. All the other things require constant treats and constant training and constant walking and all this work for you, or you can do it the natural way. And you can say, give this dog what he wants and what he needs and what his body is telling him he needs with this pent up muscle energy and this energy from his head that goes down to his jaws and this mouthing energy. And the only time that this dog doesn't care about you and constantly you, needs mm -hmm. you to touch him is when he's playing with other dogs. It's the holistic and the greatest thing ever for this dog. So the question becomes, how do I get my dog with other dogs? Every school I drive by has dogs in their baseball field. It wasn't like this 20 years ago, now it is. So you're at that baseball field, Someone rolls up with two nice labs and you let your dog play with them for an hour, okay? You're at the dog park when there's not a lot of dogs there. You're at doggy daycare for two hours a day. You make friends with your neighbors. They probably want their dog playing with a good dog like yours too and you're over there three times a week. But you leave any of these situations when it becomes unsafe and you, and you move on and you try something else. But dogs need to play. This type of dog, teenage dogs, need to play with other dogs. The other part of this is discipline, okay? Dogs need to know, teenage dogs need to know that you are a physically strong person. That Prince knew that and it paid dividends for this dog. Prince knew he needed to establish that. This lady 
many people they need to establish. Your dog doesn't know that you are stronger than them. If this video helped you, subscribe to this channel.